doubt I know what they had on their hats. I don't go around staring at women. You don't? Well, what's wrong with you? That's kind of a joke. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. So, oh, is this hot? See, we don't get a chance to keep up with the latest fashion way out here. By the time somebody shows up here wearing the latest thing, she's already out of style. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind would want to come around here. What's the matter with her? Nothing the matter with her. She's just fine. Oh, yes, Aunt Martha, I'm just fine. It's just this place that isn't. He wants to get away from here. Oh, not from you. You know that. It's just I feel, well, I can't breathe here. Honey, it's a heat. You'll be all right. There's, uh, nobody been snooping around here, huh? You're asking a lot of questions. What's eating you? No, oh, I'm just waiting to meet a fella, that's all. Hey, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming? Well, there ain't a wagon due here for days. He's on a horse. He's tying up. Somebody lost, most likely. No other reason to come around here. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Uh, wait. Howdy. Oh, it's hotter than a gallon and a half of war is chili. You got some good dust cutter? Well, mine will cut rocks. Is that all right? Sounds about right. Whew. Long haul between drinks. Where are you coming from? Big Spring. Heading for El Paso, buying cattle. You're buying cattle? Well, sure. Why shouldn't I be buying cattle? Don't look like you could buy a drink. Well, now, looks ain't everything, mister. Well, I mean... Who'd ever expect a nice place like this to be out in the middle of nowhere? This is the best little place between Big Springs and El Paso. <laughs> I bet you get all kind of folks in here. All kinds. I mean, people stopping in, going to places like me. I'm going to El Paso, buying cattle. You just said that. Uh, anybody been in lately? Him. Besides him? Nobody. Nothing. Just tumbleweed and heat waves. That's who's been in. <laughs> Me, uh, I'm headed for El Paso buying cattle. You don't say. Uh, no strangers around. Uh, hanging around, kind of? There's sure lots of questions here today. You're big spring, huh? You ever been to Laredo? Me? Laredo? Now, what did I want to be going to Laredo for? Well, some people seem to think it's a very nice town. Well, I like big springs. Some people seem to think that's a nice town, too. Somebody else is coming. Two of them. Two of them, huh? This place will explode with all these people. Oh, Aunt Martha, wait till you see them. Oh, they're handsome. I'll see them soon enough if they're coming in here. They riding a black horse and a white horse, little lady? They sure are. <laughs> my, my. Now, ain't that convenient. Uh, Ranger, you take one deep breath and I'll blow your insides all over this place. Mind your business, lady. This here is my place, and whatever goes on here is my business. You're gonna have plenty of customers. You take care of them. John, what do you got there? I got me a ranger. He's crazy. Shut up, you! What's going on here? Just relax, lady, and enjoy it. A ranger, huh? I'm a cattle buyer. Oh, he's a ranger, all right. Seen him down in Laredo a lot of times. Name up Bennett. Just who are you people, anyway? Oh, uh, Jack Hanks, ma'am. The outlaw? Paco Romero, my good right hand. Senora? Crazy John Holden. I'm afraid you're gonna have us on your hands for a while. I don't run no hangout for outlaws. You get out of here. Now, you know we ain't gonna do that. Anybody else around? Nobody. Who's she? She's my ward, Mary Ann. And you leave her be. I'd be glad to. I got more important things on my mind. But I haven't, Jack. She's very pretty. Very pretty. We're meeting somebody here. 
If you behave yourself, nobody will get hurt. But we're not in the mood for games. Now listen, the three of you, you might as well give yourselves up right now and let me take you in. Because you ain't got a chance. You're the one who ain't got a chance. We got every goat path there is around here cut off. Now you ain't going nowhere. None of you. I wouldn't talk so big if I was in your shoes, Bennett. You're the one that probably won't be leaving here. <laughs> Now tell me, what is a young, pretty thing like you doing way out here in, in all this snow place? Well, I, um, uh, are you really an outlaw? Oh, yeah, it's a terrible man. I specialize in stealing beautiful young women. Really? Oh, you're fooling me. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Marianne, you get away from him. What do you do about the ranger, Jack? Good question. You know who that is holding that gun in your neck? You just told me. And well, I'll tell you something else. Crazy John don't like lawmen. That's what I hear. How many you killed so far, John? Twelve. And thirteen's unlucky. For you, ranger. Now, you just stay right peaceful. You play your cards right. You might get out of this alive. Hey, Jack. Buggy come in. Men and a woman inside. All right, let him come in. And you remember what I told you, Ranger. Utterly charming. The next place is 50 miles away. We'll be all right. Come right in, folks. This here is my place. You have food and rooms, I presume. Well, that's as good a presume as any. I am Milburn W. Wilburn, a city councilman of the 6th District, El Paso. We'll want the very best that you have. City councilman, huh? We'll want some steaks, uh, two of them, medium well. And I'll want a bottle of your... You're holding a gun on that man. So I am. Councilman, let me introduce myself. I'm Jack Hanks. The outlaw? The same. You and your lady will be our guests for a while. Oh, this is Paco Romero, my good right hand. Senor. Senora. Crazy John Holden. Only I wouldn't call him crazy if I were you. He won't like it. I'll take your gun. I don't have one. What's a politician doing gallivanting around the country without a gun? Who is he? You should know him. Both of you being in public life, so to speak. His name's Bennett. He's a, <laughs> a Texas Ranger. So this is how you protect the good Texas citizens. Let them be taken prisoner, held against their will, imperiled, endangered. Oh, shut up. You ain't hurt yet. But you just might be if you get any uh, public-spirited ideas. But uh, we wouldn't hurt the lovely lady. She can be sure of that. Thank you. I am much reassured. Where are you going, lady? I still run this hash house, and they want steaks. Well, whip them up for everybody while you're at it. I got a piece of tough cow for you. Keep an eye on her. Well, here we are all together. We might as well just relax and enjoy it. Well, I'd enjoy it a whole lot more if I had myself a drink. Give him a drink, Romero. He can't get it himself. This is outrageous. I'm a personal friend of the governor, and when he hears about this... Senor. Senor, please, be quiet. I will not. I know my rights. I'm a very important person. I insist that you let us go. And if you don't, I'll... You'll what? Tell me. Nothing. Nothing at all. Talks a great deal, isn't it? All right, hands high, all of you. This is as far as you go. Hey, Ranger, where'd you get that gun? Under the counter. Thanks for leaving it there, man. Buddy, don't shoot. The firing bin is... 
Finish it, lady. The firing pin's broke? Well, it looks good enough for me. Would you like to test it? I think she's got an honest face. Let's take it! Lady, you should try to think before you talk. Now, John, go dig up some rope and tie Mr. Bennett up over here in the chair. All right, get up. All right, sit over here in this chair. <laughs> Bungler. Bungler! Will you shut up, Wilburn? I got enough headaches the way it is. You'll bungle everything you touch. Well, you ain't doing so good neither, politician. Or well, protecting people isn't my job. I wouldn't brag about it, Milburn. Letty, please stay out of this. How can I? I'm right in the middle of it. If you hadn't insisted that I come along to this place. I will not squabble in front of these... These... Uh, these what? Gentlemen. <laughs> He's a politician, all right. But, senor, I would... Uh... What I can't understand is what is a woman like you doing with a, a man like him? A man like you wouldn't understand. Oh, but you should try me. I can be very understanding. Perhaps you could be. All right, get your hands behind your back. You mean to tell me I gotta spend the night being tied up? You're lucky you ain't gonna spend it dead. We're doing you a favor, Ranger. And you better believe it. Senora, it is not often that a man like me sees a woman like you. A woman of the world with charm, intelligence. Which is not to be wasted on mere outlaws. But I'm not a mere outlaw. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm a man of some standing. To hide like a frightened animal while rangers hunt you down? Oh, the rangers are always hunting me down. It's a, it's a fact of life. Just an inconvenience. But when I'm in Mexico... Have you ever been to Mexico City? Oh, senora. Senora, that city, that city is just for you. Oh, yes, you, you would grace it like a, like a bright star, like the finest flower among fine flowers. Do men of Mexico always speak with such eloquent words? Only when stirred in their deepest hearts. Letty, stop listening to him. Oh, be quiet, Milburn. He amuses me. I insist that you stop bothering my wife. She doesn't seem to be bothered to me. You leave her alone. I will leave the lady alone if she wishes to be left alone, senora. Now let's see you get out of that. Crazy. What? Well, everybody called you Crazy John, so I figure they got their reasons. You don't care how long you live, do you? Well, I, uh, I figure on retiring alive, yeah. Well, you're going about it all wrong. Yeah. Chiquita. 
Está. Oh, such a scowl. It's it's out of place on a young, pretty face like yours. What is it? Hmm? A woman over there, just because she's got pretty clothes. How about pretty clothes mean nothing? Nothing! But the, the bloom of youth, uh, that means a lot. Oh, yes. You know, it, it grieves me to see something as beautiful as you withering away in this, uh, this wilderness. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I just hate it here. <laughs> Are you really a big man in Mexico City? Well, now, uh, I have money, much of it. And there are many, many fine things that money can buy. You know, fine clothes, music, dancing, cafes, beautiful homes. It's just too bad, too bad. What's too bad? Oh, that, uh, that you will never see them. You would fit right in. You're young, gay, light-hearted. Yeah, gee. Well, why can't I go? Well, you're going, aren't you? Yes, after I leave here. Take me with you. Oh, I'm afraid your guardian wouldn't approve. Oh, I'm old enough to make up my own mind. Well, what do you say? Well, let's, uh, let's say that I will consider it. If all goes well, perhaps. Huh? <laughs> all right, break it up. Stakes are ready. <laughs> Good cook, lady. Thanks. For nothing. A nice little place here. It was till you came. Well, we won't be here long. Just take it easy. <laughs> so you're the boss of this here lash up, right? That's right. How about telling the pomade kid over there to leave Marianne alone? <laughs> she ain't your kid, is she? Why worry? Because I promised her dead ma that I'd take care of her, that's why. Looks to me like she's old enough to take care of herself. Well, she ain't. She don't know enough to take care of a slicker like him. And you do, huh? I know enough, mister. I know that she's gonna leave here, but I want to be sure that she's going with the right man. Uncle's a pretty good man. An outlaw, a killer, on the run, oh, he's a fine special. Ah, oh, just relax. He's just passing the time pleasantly. Anyway, I don't uh, tell my boys how to run their private lives. <laughs> no, she don't like it here. She's gonna be leaving anyway. She's just a baby. <sighs> Some baby. Mexico City is like Paris. It's the Paris of the New World. How about stopping all this lying and sweet talk? Martha, why don't I just throw you to the wolves? Senora. Senora, you must understand my position. Now, as a poet, it pains me to see such a, such a rose blossom, only to wither and die in this hot, dry place. You get away from the great lover. There's still a lot of work to be done around no, here. No, I won't. This is the first exciting thing that's ever happened to me. If you was a gentleman, you'd get out of here so as I could talk to her. Of course. A thousand pounds. After all the teaching I did with you and you carrying on that way with that Mexican slicker, he likes me. And if he likes me enough, maybe he'll ask me to go with him. And if he does, I'm going. Honey, can't you see how it'd be? Maybe it'd be all right for a while. But what are you going to do after he gets tired of you? Well, I'll, I'll just see to it that he doesn't get tired of me. Oh, Aunt Martha, please. 
You know how much I want to get away from here. This might be all right for you, but I'm still young. Well, I'm not exactly falling apart. Oh, I didn't mean that. It's, it's just that, well, you've done things. You, you've been married, you've lived, and all the living I've been doing is just staring at sagebrush and cleaning up tables. I just want something wonderful to happen to me. And you think he's wonderful? Oh, yes, he is to me. You're staying right here. He's an outlaw. He makes his own rules, and if he asks me to go with him, I'm going. So there! Hey. Hey, Wilbur. Yes? You sure you ain't got a gun in your luggage? Or your buggy or someplace? I do not have a gun. Yeah. No wonder the state of Texas is going downhill. What's more, if I had one, I wouldn't let you have it. Don't you realize these men are cold-blooded killers? Oh, they ain't nothing to be afraid of. They're... They're, they're just nothing but, but small-time, garden-variety punk outlaws. Nothing to be afraid of at all. Better shut up or I'll blow your head off. You know, I, I can understand many things. But not why a woman like you chose a, a man like him for a husband. You're not very smart. Except, of course, there is, there is always money, position. You're getting smarter. Now, you, you take me, for example. In Mexico, I'm a man of much money and position. When uh, such a man wants his woman to be right for him. <laughs> like a schoolgirl? Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's just a little game. But you... A woman like you is no game. A man of wealth and position would be proud of someone like you. No doubt. Hello. How nice. Oh, I just wanted to tell you how pretty I think your hair looks. I think that style looks so good on an older woman. How lovely. Did you learn that in school, my dear? Oh, no. They're teaching us all kinds of new things. Not like it was way back when you went to school. What a dreadful smell. My dear, did you accidentally drop a bottle of ammonia? Or is that your perfume? Paco, have you ever noticed how the Texas sun makes older women's skin look tough? Well, kind of, uh, leathery. <laughs> Jack, I got an idea. When we live here, let's take a, a female hostage or two. You know, it might even be more effective than just one ranger. Huh? Could be, Romero. <laughs> oh, I think that's a great idea. And uh, what do you think, senora? It's a perfectly dreadful thought. <laughs> Say, what's all this hostage business? You might need him. Well, you ain't gonna take her. Don't tell me what I'm gonna do, lady. She don't know what she's talking about. Well, we know what we're talking about. Now get off my back. <laughs> There's a dude coming. In a buggy. Now, everybody stay real calm. Things have been going along fine. Don't spoil it. He's tying up. Coming in. Just remember what I said. Hi there. Stanley Applebaum is my name, and ribbons and fancy female doodads is my game. Ah, uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, ladies, have I got some things for you. The fanciest frills and furbelows west of the Chillicothe. Colorful dinguses and thingamabobs of every description that color your hair and sparkle your eyes. <laughs> I say whatever, whatever you want, ladies. Stanley Applebaum has it bright and shiny and... Oh, no! <laughs> now, you won't mind if your ladies take a little look, will you, sir? <laughs> Not at all, friend. <laughs> Traveling salesman, huh? Yes, sir. Stanley Applebaum, the most, the best from coast to coast. Well, whatever you're selling, you better do it in a hurry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies, pardon me. Oh, Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hold up, ma'am. I want to know about this. Sir, you'd be interested in a bowl, sir. Give me a. Oh, I say, I declare, I, I do. Wanna... De I say, I do declare, this man is tied up in the chair. Oh, he's a very dangerous character. We're waiting for the law. 
Uh, ladies, uh, ladies, please, now, if you'll just stand back for one minute, i uh, give a man some room, ladies, please. This isn't all I have, ladies. There's more in the buggeries, the finest well, accessories, everything that a lady's heart would desire. Ladies, if you'll just hold on one minute, please. you'd better make your sale. <laughs> ladies, get away from him. Uh, ladies, ladies, get away from him. Go ahead and throw me, sir. <laughs> well, uh, gentlemen, I, uh, uh, I don't uh, understand. Stanley Applebaum. Yes, sir. Accredited representative of the New Mode Ribbon and Accessory Company of Trenton, New Jersey. Had you? Uh, yes, sir. Stanley Applebaum. Everyone knows uh, Stanley Applebaum. <laughs> well, it says here that uh, Stanley Applebaum is six feet tall, yeah. and he weighs 290 pounds. You've, uh, changed some, Stanley. Well, I, uh, I've been on the road a good deal, sir. I haven't, uh, haven't been eating regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Jack, uh, another ranger, maybe? Huh? Most likely. <laughs> John, take a look in that sample case. <laughs> uh, John, take it easy. Be careful now. You'll soil them. Tie them up, John. You've done just fine, Stanley. Just fine. Well, them women just wouldn't give me a chance. Uh, ladies, ladies, please, go easy on that stuff. But when the real Stanley gets back, he's gonna want it. This is, uh, pretty tricky for a ranger. Yeah, well, all right. So what if it didn't work? Now, you look at here, we got a whole lot more. We got a whole troop up on that hill. You ain't a going nowhere. As soon as Benny gets here, we'll go. And we'll uh, take you two along with us. Benny? Uh, Benny Murphy? What do you know about Benny Murphy? Are you waiting for him? That's right. Well, you're going to have a long wait, Bart. We picked up Benny this morning. He had a whole bag of money. So that's what it was for. Pay your way to Mexico. Pick up Benny! We need that money. Well, you ain't gonna get it, Slate. You're lying. Shoot yourself. Hey, listen, Jack. Listen, if Benny ain't coming, maybe we we'll shoot him now and get out of here. That's right. Shoot your big mouth off. Tell him everything. Look, John has a good idea. Let's kill him and be done with it. No. Maybe he's lying. Maybe Benny will still come. We need that money. We can't chance it. He's lying. Benny will be here. You can count on good old Benny. You shut up. All right. We'll wait till daylight. If Benny doesn't come, we'll leave one way or another. And we'll take along whoever we need for security. But I... I vote for women. I... I don't need any rangers. Barry! Hell hold him. All right. Now you sit tight. Or I'll forget that we might need you to get away. Stanley Applebaum. Well, shucks, Reese. When, when you didn't show up, I, I saw your horse and their horses tied up out in front, and I, and I figured they had you. So I had to figure out some way to get in here and get you out without getting you killed. And that was when I spied that dude. Well, you could at least pick the dude whose clothes fit you. Reese. How many dudes do you think I had to choose from? no politician before. Well, look, I, I'm not hurting you. I'm not trying anything. Well, you're breathing too loud! It bothers me! Liddy. Liddy! What is it, Milker? This is terrible. These men are killers. We've got to do something. All right, do something. Well, I've thought of something. 
we could get away. It's a step in the right direction. Very. They like you. That, that Romero fellow and the other one. They really do. Why don't you go to them and, and, and bargain with them or something? Is that your idea? That I should... This is desperate, Letty. It's a matter of life or death. I always knew you were a coward. But this is worse than I ever dreamed. You disgust me. Oh, Letty, we've got to be practical. All right. I'll be just that. Letty! That's pretty. How could an oaf like you know? You just give me a few minutes and I'll show you how I know. I, uh... I get along pretty well with women. How do you manage? At gunpoint? No, thank you. Go away. You think you're too good for me, huh? You noticed. How acute. You don't feel that way about Romero. Him? Look at you. Now you can understand why. Go away, you little man. You disgust me. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> oh, everything looks magnificent on you. Oh, golly, your dog's so pretty. Well, it's because I have someone so pretty to talk to. Oh. <laughs> Mary Ann, you come here. Will you stop putting the heat on that man? I told you if he asked me to go with him, I'm going. You are not. I am, too, and there's nothing you can do about it. You don't think so? Don't push me, Marianne, or you'll force me to do it. To do what? To do what I have to do. Well, all right, then, then it's every woman for herself. A lot you know about being a woman. Well, maybe, but uh, I can always learn. <laughs> Like a really good hostage to go along with you? Do you have anyone in mind? I come from a very important family. If the law knew that I was with you, they wouldn't shoot. Besides, I'm a woman, not a schoolgirl. Oh, yes, you are indeed. Uh, I have noticed. A man like you with a lot of flair and a lot of polish needs a special kind of woman to go along with you to Mexico if you're going to do all those things you said you were going to do. And besides, you may need some money. My husband would pay a lot to get me back. Oh, but then I... I would lose you. If I decided to go back. You make a very strong case, querida. Hey, John. Oh. Go take a good look around out back. Right, right. Come on, you're no good to me. Drunk, sober up. Crazy. What'd you call me? Romero there is making you look pretty bad, ain't he? <laughs> Won't do you any good. You're much too old. To be quiet, child. Ladies, ladies. Two good looking women in the place. And Romero's got them both. Huh? Now, if that was me, I'd want some female companionship, huh, Joe? Yeah. Especially seeing that, that he's got so much. Yeah, well, I could get it if I wanted it. Ain't the way I seen it. They don't seem to want to have nothing to do with you. They like Romero. Some men got it, some ain't. You ain't. I could get any woman I want. Huh, they wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> no, 
Now, Johnny, that ain't gonna help you with, with the women. I can tell you that right now. Nothing will. They belong to Ramel. You out in the cold part. You think so, huh? We know so. Well, let me see about that. Romero! What do you want? I want one of them women. You can have your pick, but I want one. Get out of here. You heard me. I'll give you three. Now listen. One. Really crazy. Two. What's the matter with you? I couldn't help it. The locker drew on me. You mean he just walked up and drew? That's right. He was talking to the Rangers, and then suddenly he came up. Pushed him into it. Who was? We were. We were just passing the time of day. Just a few words among friends. You knew he was loco. And you pushed him into it. Hold it, Jack. We need them. It's too bad about the loco, but we can't lose him and them too. Lucky we need you. And you are supposed to be public protectors. Wait till I get back to El Paso. Will I start in on the Rangers? Oh, shut up, Milbert. You make me sick. It would be a cold day in August when you'd shoot a man for me. The way Paco did. What do you mean for you? He did it for me. You saved me from him. Thank you. He may carry your books home from school, little girl. But he shot a man for me. Paco. Get John out of here, will you? Tell me. Play, boss man. Are you serious about taking along a lady hostage? That's right. Well, you got one. Me. You? Certainly. Why not? Well, I thought you liked it here. Oh, it's been getting me down for a long time. Tell me, why should we take you instead of the kid? Because she is a kid. And I'm a woman, and I know my way around. Maybe you'd do it that. I could help you. She's just a kid. She hasn't got a brain in her head. <laughs> you know, I don't think Paco's looking for brains. You're going to have a rough trip. She'll get scared and start bawling. She'll hold you back. But not me. All right. We'll think about it. You do that. And meanwhile, I'll ask old what's-his-name to leave Marianne alone. Every woman for herself. Is that what you said? Make our 
break before they get ready to leave. Mr. Hanks, what are you on? What are you going to do with the people that you don't take with you? You mean you? I don't know, kill you or something. Mr. Hanks, you've got my wife. Take her. She's the perfect hostage. And if you don't kill me, I promise that you'll not be pursued. I'm an important man in this state. They'll listen to me. I could do you a lot of good. Please, Mr. Hanks. Leave me here alive. I promise they won't follow you. Did you hear him? Well, I ain't sure I believe it. Mr. Wilburn, I wasn't counting on killing you until now, but... I figure I'd do the state of Texas a mighty big favor by just stepping on you. You go on down there and sit down. But I don't want to die. The more you beat my ears, the closer you're coming to it. Reese, I got it. What? The idea that's going to get us out of here. Yeah? Hey, Martha. What do you want, Ranger? Hey, look here. Since we're going to be tied up here all night, how about bringing us a drink? I've never seen a man yet who's about to die whose mouth didn't get dry. <laughs> Go ahead, give him a drink. You know, Hanks, except for being a killer and a rat, you're a gentleman and a scholar. And that is a fact. You worried about Mary Ann, ain't you, ma'am? Sure can't say as I blame you not. She ain't going any place. Oh, I'm afraid she is, ma'am. Young, pretty, fresh like that. Well, that's the kind of woman that Romero fella goes for. If anybody leaves here, it's gonna be me. Well, I don't see Hanks falling all over himself over the prospect. Mm -hmm. I say, poor little thing like that, ma'am. Well, I know she ain't your daughter, but you done raised her like one, didn't you? I did my best. And that, and that poor woman just a, just a spinning around in her grave because her own natural daughter is just going to end up in a, in a whole peck of trouble. You let her go now. Uh, what do you think of her in five years? Down in some Mexican saloon, working for drinks, and friendless. Martha, they just ain't nobody in the whole world can save that girl but us. And that's the truth, ma'am. I don't need you. I've got to deal with them to take me instead of her. Well, that's real noble of you, ma'am, but I don't think it's going to work. And if you ask me, that Romero fella's got it all set to take Marianne. And, of course, old Hank's there. Well, well, he don't care who he takes, just so long as he takes somebody. What do you want from me? Get a knife, something, anything, but just get us out of this. But if they're shooting... Ma'am, there ain't nobody going to get hurt, except maybe them. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? Ten cents a piece. All right, clean it up. Stop making so much noise. I go. It's almost done. Benny's not gonna make it. Yeah, I know. What are they gonna do? Uh, we'll take the buggy, the two rangers, and one of the women. That'll fill it up. Hey, listen, let's take all the women. Yeah, two for me, one for you, eh? It'll make a long trip more pleasant. <laughs> you don't care how much trouble you get, do you? No, sir. Besides, leaving one or two rangers along the trail with their throats cut make the others change their mind about chasing us. Hmm? Yeah. All right. Which woman? <laughs> you decide, Paco. <laughs> Gee, I really feel sorry for you. You tried so hard. Paco, remind me when we get to Mexico City to do something for the child. Ay, Chihuahua, this is a problem. Oh, yes. You are beautiful, experienced, and as you say, a very important woman. As a hostage, you would be most valuable. But, on the other hand, we shall be in Mexico a long, long time. You're young, fresh. You would no doubt wear better. What can a man do? What about me? Well, let's be honest, honey. You got two strikes against you. You're neither important or young. No, nothing personal. Well, you're no spring chicken yourself. Oh, but I'm king of the barnyard, honey. 
All right, which one, Paco? Uh, if all my problems were this pleasant. You, my dear, are, are very beautiful. But I think I would rather form the lady the way I think best. And you are already formed. Beautifully. Chiquita, throw a few things in a bag. It's a long way to Mexico. <laughs> Now, don't you feel bad, honey? I think it's a shame. Just a plain shame. I wouldn't have thought you were such a dog. But I guess an older woman can't really expect to compete with a young, what pretty... What did you say? Now, don't let it get you down, Rose Petal. You go off somewhere and get yourself a rocking chair and relax. <laughs> He's right. You can't keep your looks forever. Can you, Martha? Why, you... Now, you just calm down, lady. Well, we all got to go over the hill sometime. Over the hill? Well, now, don't you blame me, honey. It'd have been me. I'd have chose you. So you thought you could come here and take my little girl away from me, did you? Call me old, will you? Now, you watch it, lady. You treat me that way? Now, you watch it, my lady. I won't let you insulting me like that. Insulting you? I'm the one that's been insulted. How dare you choose that little, that little snip of a girl over me? Senora, senora, please. seen that two-headed coin of yours. All right, then we'll uh, we'll cut high card for it. Yeah, well, your card's got a way of being all aces for you and all deuces for me. No high card needed. I'll tell you what I'll do, Reese. I ain't gonna fall for no... 